Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jono, the owner of a dragon house, and today is July 11th. I think so. July 11th, and right next to me, we have Christopher Fernandez, ready to rumble on our next upcoming event, August 17th, at the heart of California, uh, historical building, Cow Palace. Now, let's introduce you once again to all the MMA fight fans out there. Christopher, where are you coming from? Where were you born and raised? And what got you into fighting? What's going on? It's the Kuya, Chris Fernandez. Coming from Santa Rosa, born and raised in Pinal, California. Now, congratulations on your last victory, coming off a spectacular win, and uh, finally get the first dub on your uh, pro career. Uh, how do you feel about your performance on your last fight? I'm feeling real good after my last fight. You know, I felt like that was the best performance of my career so far. I was able to control myself, and in a 15-minute fight, mm -hmm. I had really good conditioning, so I'm feeling pretty good. Now, on this upcoming fight, it's the fight that I've been wanting, trying to put it together for a minute. And then finally, this fight's happening on August 17th yeah. against Cordero Martial Art, uh, one of the top guys, um, Juan Vidal. So now, what do you think of him? I like Juan Vidal a lot. You know, I had mentioned that I wanted to fight him before in a previous interview because I know the guy shows up. I know he makes weight. I know he's about the business. So I'm ready to go, stand up, bang. I know he's going to try to grapple me, maybe take me down, try to submit me. But, you know, we've been working, we've been working. Now, to knowing Juan, he's a purple belt under Cordero Martial Art. Very good grappler and yeah. a good wrestler as well. You know, do you feel like you have a size advantage on him? I feel like I'm a little bit bigger, but I don't think size is going to be what plays out. I think it's going to come down to technique and who can be slicker and who can have better technique. Now, you are more like a striker mm -hmm. for what I've seen for the last few fights on our event. He is a little bit more like a grappler. Yeah. So coming into this fight, how do you prepare for your fight camp? You know, I keep wanting to do the same thing. I want to keep sharpening all my skills and of course bringing my grappling up. But this time I've really focused on being good at what I'm good at. So for a lot of times I was working on my weaknesses, mm -hmm. right? But I let my strengths kind of fall back to the backside. I want to use my strengths. I want to use my strengths to stand up and get the finish. Mm, that's pretty awesome, you know. Now on this upcoming fight, who is your main training partner for this upcoming camp? I got a whole lot of training partners. I've been over at Resurrection Training Clubs. So I started uh, coaching over there with Gary Brewer and um, the whole team over there. We've got a few fighters on the next mm -hmm. next yes, coming yes, up. Yes, yes. So a bunch of them. Dom, um, this Jay Small B, James, yeah, so you got a Johnny. Couple, yes, Johnny as well. So you got a few more guys on there. The whole team is going to be there. Yeah, we in camp. We're ready to fight. <laughs> now, I know in California, there's a lot of up-and-comer, um, especially in 135 pounds. That's a really stacked yeah. division. Um, not trying to look past Juan Vidal, but like, do you have anybody that you want to fight if you're coming off a win? And then our next event is November 9th. Do you have anybody that in your radar that you want to fight in the future? You know, I never like to look past the fight that's coming up ahead. But, you know, there's a lot of good guys in the 135 pound division. Who we got? Uh, Alex Aquavara from Team Salguera. They got, what, Andrew Tosti, um, a couple other guys. Um, of course, I'd like to get a couple wins and run it back with Jeremy Escolta. That was a good fight that I wish could have, you know, went the distance and stood on feet. But Yes, yes. I think you um, you initiated the takedown with I Jeremy. initiated the takedown every time. I, I initiated the takedown. <laughs> I ended up on the bottom. He did this thing where he kicked off the cage. And when I rotated it, he ended up on top of me. I was like, ah. So I know, I know, I mean, Jeremy is a striker, you know, he loved mm -hmm. to stand up. But, you know, it's crazy, like, you actually initiated going for a takedown, and you're a good striker, too. Yeah, so I had another, in the, one of the first exchanges, he kicked the inside of my leg as I was moving forward, and I slipped, and I fell. Mm. So I stood back up, and then initiated the clinch, and by that time, we're on the cage. And now you're all some muscle memory going for the ring. Yeah, man, I'm not a grappler. I'm not a grappler. I'm going to grapple. I'm gonna stand up. Is that, the, is that the game plan coming into that fight? Is you no. want to you take him down or you plan to strike? My game plan is never to take anybody down. I'm always trying to, <laughs> I'm always trying to strike. <laughs> but, oh, so you, just, you feel he's kicked and you just want to win for the takedown. Well, we drill it so much in camp, you know, because that's the big thing. Grapplers are winning a lot of fights. So we drill a lot of grappling. And we know that my weakness is grappling, so we do a lot of jujitsu. We're doing it so much that that's just muscle memory. It just becomes a reaction on that day. Yeah, but it's not my strength. Well, you know, maybe a couple of wins coming down the line and maybe running back again with him. Yeah, I'm going to do a couple more of these uh, jiu-jitsu matches, keep it <laughs> do some more super fights. Yeah. Get yep. my jiu-jitsu better and, you know. Yes, our next um, submission only grappling 
Also, kickboxing sparring, it will be on August 24. Making sure you guys register at dragonhousemma.com. Now, on this upcoming fight, um, what do you see yourself have an advantage on Quan Videl? I feel like mobility is my strongest asset. So being able to move, strike on the back foot, and then change directions and change levels. Um, I feel like I do that a lot better than him, and I feel like I can use that to my advantage. Do you think he is the toughest opponent you have fight in the past to now? Uh, he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. I wouldn't say he's the toughest guy because I fought a lot of tough guys. Just mentioned Jeremy Escolta, James Guidry, Timujin Uzi Uric is on I mean, tear. That's my boy. He, he, you he, fought Timujin too. Yeah, man. I fought Timujin on that show. That's right. Oh shit, I don't yeah, remember that. Yeah, ever knocked me out. That's my boy. And you went up to a two weight class. Yeah, I went up to one forty five. I one fifty five. One fifty five. Actually, we fought at one sixty. Holy shit. Yeah. Now, what do you walk around weight right now? I walk around about 60, 62. Um, today, since I'm getting ready for a fight, I'm down about 51. 51? 51. Right now, you walk around 151. Yeah, I'm on my way down now. So what I do is, when I'm thinking about fighting, I start to change my diet, start eating a little bit healthier, do a little bit more cardio, less strength training, and the weight comes off naturally through camp. Um, then for the last about month or so, it comes on real cut. Right, right, right. That's pretty awesome. Well, this is a definitely one of the fights that um, everyone can wait to watch it. You know, San Jose versus Santa Rosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be epic. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to buy a ticket, come watch a new fight. Christopher, how can people contact you? You can check me out on Instagram at ChrisRY3. Um, or you can hit me up on my detail page, 510 Mobile Detail. Now, let's talk a little bit about your business. Yeah. It's a good opportunity to let people know. What do you do for work and how do you do your mobile uh, cleaning? So I do, I own an auto detailing service, it's all mobile, 510 Mobile Detail, and we deliver expert auto detailing to your driveway. Uh, we do everything from regular washing and waxing, clay bars, deep clean, shampoo, ceramic coatings, paint protection film, vinyl wraps, graphic wraps, Damn. all that. Actually, for my business, I just got onto a TV show that's gonna be shooting probably in the fall. Uh, it's called The Blocks. It's on Amazon Prime. And Shit. Yeah, it's a competition-based reality show where they teach you ways to become a better entrepreneur and then they're going to allow you to present later in that day. You're kind of competing against another group of people. But, so I'm feeling, feeling real good. If I can go out there and at least learn everything they're trying to teach me, I'm going to win either way. That's pretty awesome. And now, you've been doing this for the last couple of years since the pandemic, right? Yeah. So I started my own business in the pandemic, but I've been detailing since about 2011. Um, under other people at different wow. shops. So you actually been doing cars and it's been like a decade. Yeah, it's been a while. It's, it's, it's an while. expert now. That's pretty good. And how uh, how busy are you? Are you working six days a week or? I like, currently I'm working six days a week because it's summer and, um, but I like to work five days a week, six days a week sometimes and we're booked out about three weeks to a month. Wow. Congratulations, man. Now, it's your mobile detail. Once again, how do people reach out to you if they need a car wash? You can hit me up on Instagram or YouTube at 510 Mobile Detail. That's 510, 510 Mobile, mobile detail. detail. That's pretty awesome. Now, any special sponsor, training partner, coaches, supporters that you want to shout out to? Of course, I want to thank my training partners. I want to thank my wife, my kids, uh, my family. I want to thank uh, my sponsors, the detail firm. Vinyl Inc. and 510 Mobile Detail, and uh, Endeavor Meal Preps. That's pretty awesome. You know, now, if your opponent find video watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Well, I'll be there. I'll see you August 17th. How do you think the outcome? Distant or finish? You know, almost all of my fights have gone the distance. I'm not trying to put in another 15 minutes. We finish in the fight. One way or the other. Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting paid the same amount, no matter what. Yes, yes, yes. Well, this is pretty awesome. You know, I can't wait. Can't wait to watch this fight. Now, for more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This is a really big stack card. It's yes. the biggest regional MMA event in California. Approximately about 22 to 25 fights. You're looking at about 10 pros and 15 amateurs, roughly. So it's got a lot of fight. Door opens at 2 p.m. First fight kicks off at 3 p.m. And that's the start of the amateur pro kickoff around 6, 6.30 and uh, all the way to about 9.30 on the pros. So don't miss it out, guys. Big stack card. A lot of future legend, future uh, big stars coming from our show. 
So do not miss it out. And then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram and give us some love and support. And any fighter managers want to get on our next event after August 17, November 9th, back to Keysar Pavilion. Making sure you guys hit me up on Instagram so I get you guys a secure spot or start matching you up and get you on the, on the fight card. Um, any last word you want to say to any family members or anyone else um, from this interview? To my family, I just want to say I love you, training partners. I see y'all in the gym, we putting that work. Now, one more other question, who is your favorite UFC fighter? My favorite UFC fighter, Max Bless Holloway, baby. Well, he might be in this event. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Swear to God, no bullshit. No I know, bullshit. hey, we didn't plan that. No, but, <laughs> but hey, you know, I got to bring home, hey, and it's my mom's birthday, so I got to, I got to win. Want to be dog? I'm not trying to, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> well, you probably have him in the, in, in, in one of the locker rooms and cornering some of the fighters that uh, they come from Hawaii. Boy, so. send them my way, you know, it's the island boys. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people yeah. will get an autograph on that too, you know. We'll see you guys August 17. And I'm John Lowe signing out. And good to have you on board, Christopher. Thank you. Looking Thank forward you. to see you guys perform August 17. I'm John Lowe signing out. Hey, that's funny.